It's Doggy Quick Tips. So in all my years as a canine nutrition consultant, obviously I've dealt with a lot of obese dogs and people just can't seem to figure it out. So a couple of quick tips. Number one, people have to understand, unlike humans, dogs tend to gain their weight in the summertime, not the wintertime, right? We humans, we tend to uh, disappear in the winter, sit on the couch a little too much, eat a few too many potato chips, maybe watch a few too many movies. Well, that's what happens to dogs in the summer. As the heat rises, the dog's body naturally and biologically slows down, including their metabolism. So if we continue to feed them the same amount of food when the weather starts getting warmer, by the time September, October, November rolls around, ask any vet, people come in, my dog got fat, right? Uh, it usually starts way before people say my dog got fat. Uh, so keep that in mind. In warmer months or in you know, low activity periods of time, whether it's injury or illness or something, you need to make sure that you adjust feeding accordingly. Uh, for instance, dogs in the summertime, they could eat uh, as much as 25% less food than you normally would feed them. So, you know, if, it's, if you feed four cups a day, once that hot weather rolls around, you know, chisel down to three cups a day and kind of go from there. Another big factor I see is a dog gets a little chubby. Nothing crazy, but a little chubby. So, you know, the owners, they look on the back of the bag and, you know, they want to make sure they're feeding the dog the right amount of food, right? So they look, oh, my dog is 60 pounds. And they look at a 60 pound dog, 60 pound dog might eat, you know, three cups a day. So they say, oh, I don't know what it is then. I'm feeding them the right amount. Aha, your dog is supposed to be 50 pounds. Not 60 pounds, right? You, got to, you need to lose weight, <laughs> right? But these, you know, a lot of owners, they look on the back of the bag what their dog weighs and they look and they're overfeeding. The dog is just gonna get fatter and fatter and fatter, right? You wanna feed your dog what it's supposed to feed on the back of the bag, the guidelines, and then you adjust accordingly, right? If your dog is fat and overweight, you have to underfeed a little bit, okay? Now with reduced calories also comes reduced vitamins and minerals, which most foods are fortified with. So you may wanna add a vitamin supplement while you're in the process of reducing and shedding some fat off of your dog. But remember, when you look on the back of the bag, don't feed your, what your fat dog currently weighs. You have to feed less than what your dog's target weight is, okay? So let's look at this feeding chart. Let's assume that your dog is 55 pounds, and if you look at the recommended feeding for a 55-pound dog, it would be between two and three quarters and three and a quarter cups. So you would probably feed three cups a day. Aha! The problem is your dog should be 50 pounds. So it should be on the lower end of that spectrum at two and three quarter cups. So you're overfeeding your 55 pound dog. Pretty soon he's gonna be 60 and 70 and 80, etc. okay? Keep that in mind. This is exactly what I'm talking about. And another thing too, you know, if, if your dog is five pounds overweight, it doesn't seem like that much, right? Well, if a, you know, if a 55 pound dog is five pounds overweight, that's basically 10% of, of his or her body weight. That's equivalent to me, I'm 210 pounds, that's equivalent to me being 21 pounds overweight, which I probably am. <laughs> so I gotta turn over the back of my bag and adjust my feeding. <laughs> All kidding aside, these are just some quick tips for you to consider if your dog is getting obese. Now keep in mind, this does not include dogs with any kind of health or medical issues. Obviously, that's a separate thing. So, and you know, these are just quick tips. So I hope this is some food for thought.